I am very happy to be in Putrajaya again for a retreat. I was last here two years ago. I'd like to thank Prime Minister Najib for hosting it, particularly at this difficult time for Malaysia, handling the aftermath of the MH370 incident. I express my sympathies to the Prime Minister, to the, to the families of the crew and the passengers on board the MH370 aircraft. Singapore stands with Malaysia in this tragedy. We participated in the SAR, in the South China Sea and in the Straits of Malacca. And as I told the Prime Minister, we stand ready to help Malaysia also in the next phase of its investigations and its handling and follow-up. It's been a very fruitful visit for me. Yesterday I toured KL. So much has changed since last I took a walk around the city, which is too many years ago. And I was very impressed by the development and the very vibrant street life in Bukit Bintang and also in uh, Bangsa village. And the Te Tari was not bad at all either. <laughs> so we've had excellent discussions this morning. Our bilateral ties are progressing well. Uh, President Tony Tan made a state visit last September, and we're looking forward to the state visit by His Majesty the Agong later this month to Singapore. Uh, Prime Minister Najib has outlined the items which we discussed in our meeting today. Uh, the high-speed rail, which we launched last year as a project linking Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, is a very major cooperation project which will preoccupy us for several years to come. The officials have been working hard, and there are many items yet to be discussed and settled. The design, the financing, the governance, the operation, the security requirements, the immigration requirements, the legal arrangements. All these will preoccupy us for many years to come. And I think that we should focus on this and work hard at it, because it is a game changer, as I said last year, and it will make a tremendous difference to the psychology of our peoples, to the linkage between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, and to the overall interrelationship and cooperation between our two countries. Our iconic projects are doing well, as you've heard from uh, PM Najib. But beyond these iconic projects, I told the Prime Minister that the Iskandar Malaysia is a strategic play to, to rise, to raise Malaysia above the global competition and to help Singapore also to maintain our economic competitiveness by integrating our two economies and complementing one another. And we agreed that it's important to develop the Iskandar Malaysia project comprehensively, not just in services, not just in residential properties, although these are important, but also in manufacturing, in industries, in order to create jobs, to attract investments, to have an organic, comprehensive, dynamic center of economic vitality in Johor, which will benefit Malaysia and which will be linked to Singapore, and which will take advantage of Singapore. And our Industrial Cooperation Working Group, which we formed last year, has made good progress for win-win opportunities, and I think that we should work harder, and between EDB Singapore and MIDA Malaysia, they can work together in order to find projects which can fit in and fit into this model of a win-win relationship. As Iskandar thrives, we can expect also to need more people to be trained for the jobs which will be created. And so I also talked about vocational training and Singapore helping Malaysia to upgrade its vocational training for workers who can work in the Iskandar so that they can take the better jobs at better pay. We talked about connectivity, and in particular, we talked about the uh, RTS link as well as the possibility of co-locating our CIQs as well as the possibility of a friendship bridge. The RTS link, we are evaluating designs and we are awaiting uh, Malaysia's decision as to where you would like to have your end of the link so that we can narrow down the designs and evaluate <coughs> them further. On the co-location of the CIQ for the new links, RTS as well as the high-speed rail, I think co-location is something which we will definitely do because you want to make it most convenient and we are designing a new system 
from scratch. And we can do it so that the passenger goes through both sets of immigration just at one place, and when he arrives, he's already cleared, and he can, go, he can walk out. Uh, for the existing road links for the causeway and also for the second link, uh, it's more complicated to do because we have a, a CIQ built, you have a CIQ built. How we can work more closely between the two, that's something which our officials will study further. On uh, the Friendship Bridge, I explained to Prime Minister Najib that we are in favour of uh, enhancing linkages between our two countries. I, right now, our <coughs> preoccupation is to improve the flow at our CIQ because in the mornings when the traffic comes into Singapore, I think the queue is very long, one hour, sometimes two hours. And the reason is because our CIQ checks take some time and uh, therefore there's a delay build up. We are concentrating on improving the CIQ. For the long term, I can imagine and foresee that at some point we will need to widen our links, widen the, 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 the link across the Straits of Johor, and we should study now how we can develop for the long term a new link, which is what the ministers have been studying uh, under the rubric of a cross-border road linkage. And if we can make that an iconic symbol of our close friendship and a fitting gateway to enter Malaysia from the south, that will be a good thing. It is something which the officials will study for the long term, but it is something which we must prepare early. Uh, so we've had a fruitful discussion. Uh, I look forward to receiving the Prime Minister in Singapore next year. I know that uh, Malaysia is also planning an agro bazaar in Singapore, <laughs> and that will be very soon in June. And I believe that one of the agro products which should be at the bazaar will be Musang King Durian. <laughs> so many Singaporeans will be able to enjoy what we had last night on the boat <laughs> sailing around Putrajaya Lake. So thank you very much.